Yo! Hello! Welcome! Let me just... Alright. Um... Uh, hold on. <laughs> I want to full screen this. That's fine. We'll just watch this for a second and I'll full screen it. Yo! Mobile game reveal! Also, revealed name, Warcraft Arclight Rumble! Arclight Rumble! What does that sound like? Sounds like Clash Royale. And that's what all the leaks seem to be indicating. I think that's what we're getting. Something Clash Royale, Clash of Clans like. The Arc Arc Light, you got this little zappy do Harry Potter looking thing. You know what this looks a lot like? It looks a lot like the end in Narab, you know, a little bit, kinda. Uh, um But anyway. Um Oh, we got a minute. Here we go. I'm gonna turn the that is always so loud. I'll turn my music off. Professional stream, so. Alright. Oh, now, again. If you've been on this channel before, you've heard me talk about, I like mobile games. Uh, for better or worse, I play a fair bit of them. Clash, I play Clash of Clans, I play Hearthstone, I play Eve Echoes, I play Mario Kart Tour, Fire Emblem, eh, eh, Pokemon Go, I play it all. Um, I'm excited for Diablo Immortal, I think that'll be a lot of fun. But, uh, I wanted a Warcraft mobile game. Um... And I'm very excited to see what this is. All right, I think we can expand it now. I don't really want to see chat. So let's see what they got for us. Interesting subtitles. Don't really need those. All mechy and okay, okay. Moles. <laughs> I'll be honest. I like the cutesy art style. It feels very toy-like, which is fun. <laughs> I get Hearthstone vibes from that. Warcraft Arc Light Rumble. Tell me more! And I'm Adam, and today we have the honor of introducing you to Warcraft, Warcraft Arclight Rumble! Rumble. <laughs> so what is this game? What is this game? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mobile, strategy, fast-paced, hero collector. And villain collector. And villain collector game that has a vast PvE campaign. It also has dungeons and raids and PvP and co-op and everything you'd expect of a Warcraft game from Blizzard. We love games. We were super inspired by tower defense games. Our game isn't really tower defense. It's more our style to do a tower offense game. It's joyful chaos. <laughs> and we're aiming to bring our Blizzard best to mobile games that inspire us. Chaos reigns. All the chaos. Can't use chaos twice. <laughs> basements of taverns all across Azeroth, a mysterious machine has been found. Is it new? Has it always been there? Powered by gnomish engineering and arc light. 
This machine has been generating famous and infamous battlegrounds for your entertainment. So when the battle begins, you'll come to the battlefield with your army, ready to go assault the boss. Okay. So there's a base for you to defend. If the base dies, your run is over. Also, there's meeting stones on the map. If we control the meeting stone, we can play things closer to the boss. If the enemy controls the meeting stone, they're gonna come at us a little bit closer as well. There's also towers on the map for you to go capture that lets you have a forward position so you can assault the boss directly. There's also shinies that you can get. You there's know what? Nodes and treasure chests this is, this is less. Give me the shiny. This is less the Clash get, Royale than I thought it would be, or Clash of Clans. I'm, all right, okay. One of my favorite things about this game is that every mini has their own personality and every single one of them thinks they're the coolest. And they're all wrong, except for Blackrock Pyromancer. Yes! In Warcraft Arclight Rumble, we have five families. The Alliance! The Noble Alliance with a lot of defensive units and spells. Aha! There's also the horde, the proud horde that will of course, overpower you. Heed my call. But there's also Black Rock to sear a hole in your enemy's defenses. Oh, okay. There's of course the undead playing with different factions. You can bring a skeleton of troops to the battlefield. Rise. And beasts. We also have a literal stampede from the plains and jungles of Azeroth. With all of the chaos going on with the troops, we need somebody to lead this rabble. Leaders are a way to cater your strategy and build a specific play style that suits you. If you want to play siege units, go for Sneed. I'm down. Sneed has a trait called Sneed's Greed that makes all of your siege units grab extra gold. My personal favorite is Ren. With his ability Black in the Sky, it makes all of your flying units one gold cheaper so you can fill the air with chaos. Chaos. There are tons of strategies that you can assemble with this. There are over 60 minis for you to play with. I like that they're calling them minis. It makes it seem a little Dungeons and Dragons esque yes. tabletop. A sense of exploration and wonder should come across regardless. Speaking of wonder, let's go play a game. We're going to do it live. I mean, it'll be edited later, but that's okay. <laughs> Welcome to Jinrok's Live Sword. I like that they're not taking themselves this too is a fun seriously. Map because I did the design for it and Justine did the art. We'd have our animators and our character artists make all this happen. There's so many people that go into making this a reality. The goal of the Swall Troll Patrol is to punch your base in the face. Smash that start button, let's go. Okay, here comes a troll, he's coming down our lane, and the first thing we're gonna do is have some harpies go say hello. There's a kobold that's already trying to steal gold over there. We're gonna let him go for that though. There's a bat rider coming, and we have a huntress. Let's play a huntress okay, to help so you us need out to defend a your... Here comes another You're defending, yeah, so it's it's Clash Royale. Control. It's not but Clash of Clans, it's relentless. more Clash Royale. I'm actually gonna lose. No! <laughs> we don't make these maps to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> You lost at your own level, dude. Smash that start button. Let's go. All right, here comes the swole troll, and we need some harpies to go take care of that swole troll. There's some chickens coming. Oh, that's a lot of chickens. chickens. But that kobold, I do. That kobold definitely needs to get out of here. Need some more gold, though. <laughs> Let's go mine this area right here so that we can I like our the harpy humor. addiction. All right, good. Have those chickens come in and peck that swole troll. Yeah. Just like it's a snack. Oh my gosh. Smack them. So in you here. can combine like families. Okay. It, there's the family types. Or like the tut, like the black rock or Hopefully but you could combine them into your own team. Okay. You You're not limited. Oh, At least that's what it seems like. All right. Down to the wire. Harpies, come on. Time's running, Time's running out. Too close. All right, all right, all right. Let's do a wombo combo. Brilliant. Nice. Okay. That's just one of the 70 plus maps that we have for you to play all over Azeroth. Ah! One of my favorite maps is going back to Stranglethorn, deep in the jungle, is Gurubashi Arena. King Mukla is there with his Bananchucks and Banandalia. And there's a couple of apes in Ungro that have some banana armaments. We've got the Benini Gun by Ukluk. Ungro also has Devil Sword Queen. The 
tyrant of the area and she comes stomping down and you just have to take her down before she bites your face. I mean, it looks pretty high quality in terms of the animations. Like, they could have just done, here's your square and that's it, but they've actually created maps and environments. There's so many ways that you can customize your minis using talents. Their abilities can be augmented in all different sorts of directions. Mayev has a really awesome talent called Cloak of Shadows. Wherever you play her on the map, she will cast Smoke Bomb and stealth everything around her so you can make a mobile assault squad anywhere on the map. Mm. Warcraft! Warcraft! Arclight! Arclight! Rumble! Rumble! This game has so many ways to play varied content every single day, every single week. You get to play a new dungeon every week. We didn't talk about dungeons! We didn't talk about dungeons. You can play dungeon solo, or if you want to play co-op, you can as well. We didn't talk about co-op! We forgot to talk about co-op! Co-op, you can join a guild, you can play with your friends. You can join a guild mm -hmm. and you can fight your friends! Fight, fight, fight! You can go play raids with them. There's so many things to do in this game. We didn't talk about raids! You're just going to have to stay tuned for more information, aren't you? Close Beta is coming to limited regions soon, so keep an eye on social media for more information. Now! The team, we are so oh. excited for you guys to get your hands on this, and we really, really look forward to your feedback and input. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Enjoy the joy. Enjoy the chaos. The chaos, it never ends! <laughs> Cool. No, I don't know. For Theramore! Again, I like the cartoony, kind of like toy like mini style. each other's bases, um, PvP, I like it. And there's the gacha mechanic, obviously, because it's a mobile game. And again, I really like that they make them, like, minis. They're, like, magical minis. I like it. curious what people have to say about it because there's another mobile game in development allegedly that was more like pokemon uh more like uh, pokemon go so i'm very curious to see uh see about that but anyway thanks for tuning in i will be covering and following this game very closely similar to diablo immortal so if you want to hear the latest news be sure to tune in and i'll have more for you soon I'll catch you next time. Peace.